This will be just a short video to continue that previous test I ran. And again, you can see I've got my 87V prototype out. I'm going to select a set of pads that are farther apart. You can see there's no traces between the two. And instead of running a 1,000 volts, I'm going to start this off at 600 volts. The reason we'll run it at 600 volts is the 121GW has a 600 volt rating on it. All right, let me go ahead and we'll turn on our power supply. You can see we're outputting just over 600 volts. Again, we'll just draw a little wire from the ground trace over to our positive lead and let's see if we can get this thing to arc across. Then let's try it with a thousand. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> I had plugged our board in wrong. Alright, so you can see I've installed our lead into the correct jack. This is what's left of our resistor. I think this used to be a one mega ohm part. It certainly wasn't rated for a kilovolt. I picked a new set of contacts. Again, these are quite a ways away. I'm going to try to arc right down here at the end. All right, let's go ahead and turn up our power supply. take this up to about 600 volts and that's roughly what the 121 GW is rated for and again let's try to strike an arc from this pin over here let's see what happens Well, we arced in the shorter area, and you can see even with 600 volts applied, it jumped a pretty far gap. Of course, once this area here is broken down, it's going to be that much easier to get it to break down a second time. So this time we won't even use our little test wire. All I'm going to do is turn on our power supply, and let's see what happens. Yeah, so I don't know how many meters that are produced would actually survive a test like this. You know, essentially, what you've done is you put the meter into its voltage mode, and say the PTC is ice cold, and you attach the meter to, in this case, say a 600 volt DC power supply. Of course, the meter is rated for that. And let's say that power supply has an unlimited amount of current. We can just see how that thing is burned right through the board, right from this pad up. Anyway, so you've got your meter out, and again, you've got your 600 volt supply attached. You're in the DC volt mode, and you know the meter is rated for that 600 volts and the power supply has an unlimited amount of current and then you slowly rotate it to one of the settings that engages that clamp in this particular meter for the BM869S that could be the thermocouple, the diode or the resistance mode and essentially the wipers come in contact with the plates here and we draw a small arc and it really wouldn't matter we could move the wiper back away from the two switch contacts but once we started that arc assuming that power supply has enough current we could sustain that and basically this is what's going to be the effect you know again I don't test meters like that um, these transient generators don't put out a DC voltage they put out a small transient 
and again I doubt you would find that the PTCs would respond fast enough to save the circuit board I think by that point the circuit board has probably been damaged well I think that's going to be all for this video I guess uh, the point of all this is don't hook your meter up to a high voltage high current power supply and rotate it into the resistance mode you may get away with it at you know 200 volts or something but but once you start getting into the higher voltages I think the risk of damage in the circuit board certainly goes up well I hope you enjoyed the video I think that's gonna be it for all this testing later